In this video, I'm going to set up a wireless link in between my home and my office. We're going to do it in three parts. The first part, we're going to unbox and assemble the dishes, then do the physical setup, then configure the software. The first thing we're going to do is see if it's even possible to do a link using a line of sight calculator at catacore.com. Since the line of sight calculator said the link between my home and my office was feasible, I thought I'd go out and purchase a pair of TP-Link CPE710 outdoor dishes. So let's go ahead and start the first part of unboxing and assembly. Okay, I was going to do a link uh, between this uh, home office and my office. Uh, it's about a mile away, and so I bought a pair of the TP-Link 5 gigahertz CPE710 24 or 23 dBi point-to-point -point, uh, radios. They can use be point-to-point -point or point-to-multi-point. So I thought I'd unbox these things and assemble them and uh, get them up on the roof and see if we can make the link. So open to this box, it looks like we have the actual radio. All, this is all plastic and it looks like it's got uh, an ethernet jack and the power looks like it's power over e ethernet using a passive uh, passive injector it's in here passive injector I'd really rather have not passive injector so I can use my uh, PLE switch, but I think this is what we're going to have to do. I'll check the documentation, but I do not think it will uh, use a regular 802.3AE injector. Um, I know that some of the older TP-Link equipment I've used, if you actually, it's passive uh, injector, and if you used a switch, it'll actually burn it out. So we got to be very careful there. Looks like you got you know your typical mount. It's all this is, this is interesting that it's all very plasticky. Um, some bolts and the reflector, which is actually metal, which is good. So let's uh, let's open this thing up and see if we can snap it together. So the center piece. Looks, looks like it sl slides in here. There's a little guide, a little nub there, put it in the hole. And slide it, and it snaps into place. Do the same with the other. Put it in the guide. There you go. So there's actually screws on the back that you use to hold this thing together. Okay. Screws are in the bag. Looks like there's four of these screws. It says to put the screw in and the nut. So looks like the screw goes from the outside and not on the inside. Okay, there you go. So we got the, the four screws and they're all locked in. Now it's your reflector. Since it's got a little level on it, I assume that's up. Because the tough part is snapping these in. So this guy, you gotta push down pretty hard. Um, and then it'll snap in solid. There you go. That's the trick. Got to push pretty hard. There. So it looks like this is the mounting bracket, and this is the bolt. Slide it in, and then use flat washer, split washer, and wing nut. Now the pipe clamp. We're ready. This one goes in here like this. Snap it in. There you go. 
Ethernet goes here in the bottom. And there should be a waterproof snap on once we get the Ethernet in there. And we'll protection. All right, so we're good. So I'm going to assemble the other one. And then we'll go scout our location and see if we can uh, set up a link. All right, so click right here to the right and join me for the physical setup. I'll get up on the roofs, set up the antennas, point them, and see if we can make the link.